to Whole Brain about two years ago and I watched just a couple videos on YouTube and I saw what the teachers were doing. I loved how the students were engaged and so I just kind of rewatched it and rewatched it until I picked up on um, the chants and the motions that they were doing and then I just started incorporating it into my classroom and I'm just really loving it ever since. Alright, let's stand up, push your chair in. <laughs> and... Oh, Moses has had some. Here we go. We're going to do accent. An accent means to say it louder, longer, open up wider, voice so higher. Well, I've noticed my students are more engaged instead of just sitting there and listening to me. I'm engaging all of my learners, my visual, my auditory, and um, my kinesthetic learners. They're up, they're moving, and it's a great assessment. I can see who's maybe catching on to something. Um, I've even been able to make some speech referrals. Um, when I do the class teach, I can walk around and I can see how students are making sounds when they're teaching their neighbors. And I'm able to see where they're placing their, you know, maybe their tongue, maybe they're making the, you know, the sound wrong. So from that, I've been able to do as a quick assessment as well. Hands and eyes. Looking for my laser eyes. Someone, someone doesn't have their laser eyes on me. Okay, there we go. Don't burn me with your lasers. Okay, ready? Here we go. I can move it. Tea table tips. Oh, not try tuck. that again. Tea table tips. Very good. Not, not tough. tough. Ready? Tea table tips. I don't put your hand on your throat. Say huh. 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 Is your voice moving? Yeah. P is an unvoiced letter. Unvoiced sound. Now say that's the sound we're looking for. Ready? Say it with me. P -P Much better. A apple A. N S S O S socks. S no. Class. So class. Yes. So yes. Okay. We're gonna teach our friends the voiced S sound. You will say. Voice S says Voice S says Okay, ready? Teach! Okay, turn to your partner. Ready? Go ahead, the girl goes first. Voice S says Voice S says Go ahead. Voice S says Voice Oh, did you guys do it already? You worry about you worry about yourself. Okay, now you're gonna switch. Your other partner that listened this time, this, this the one that was the student, is gonna be the teacher. They're going to say voice S says Ready? Teach! Okay! Voice says voice voice. There you go. Voice says voice. Good job. All right. Oh, markers. Listen, echo, name, and write. Do it with me, mirrors and words. Mirrors and words. Listen, echo, name, and write. Here we go. First letter sound is. that has never used this strategy. What do you think is the best advice for a new teacher wanting it? I mean, you went and found some YouTube, you got some yeah. training, but what if somebody's just watching this video and maybe some other YouTube videos and wants to do this? The best advice I'd give to them yeah. is definitely, I mean, it's a program that, I mean, I would love to have more um, 
de like professional development on and I would definitely do it and look into it, ask questions, maybe there's other people in your building that are implementing it that you might not even know about. Um, I think it's a, it definitely is the most engaging program I've ever seen or heard of. Okay. And the students love it. They love the callbacks. You're constantly, you're moving, you're going. It's not, there's not a lot of dead time. So whole brain isn't just um, necessarily what's on that, what's on the videos or what another teacher does. It's just, you're, you're moving around. Anything that you can do, which teachers do it every day. So there's probably a lot of teachers out there that are incorporating some whole brain strategies and they don't even know it. Whether they're making up a song or making up movements, they're incorporating those strategies already.